Hi friend, welcome to Flip Through Friday of my teacher planner. Um, so we're going to look at the last two months of the school year, which for me was April and May. You might notice some uh, sticky notes in certain spots just because it might be have student names or something like that that I don't want you to see, but everything else is pretty. This is mostly a checklist for me. It doesn't contain too many of those kind of things. So here was my April monthly looking really good. Um, I'm very excited to start working on my new teacher planner for next year. Uh, this was using the old farmhouse sticker book. Some of these spreads came out super duper cute. This was using uh, the food and the health, healthy hero one. Now, at this point, I was having Instagram choose what sticker books I was using. So, oh, I think this was the color one. This one was the one where it was reds and yellows. Reds and yellows. And then this one, I think I chose. I didn't have Instagram to use because I had been seeing some scrape painting activities. And I was like, I bet you I could do that with um, mild liners. So that's what I did here. So it's busy. It's a little chaotic, but it was really fun. And then we have some of the spring meadow kits and deco and things from Coffee Planner Mom. And then we are on to May. In May, my monthly was things that had to be done on certain days. Really trying to be focused because May goes by fast. And I had two concerts and I was super sick the first week. Funnily enough, I ended up being sick the last week, too, uh, after school was out. So, May was a fun time. Very exciting. So, I decided in May I was just using the um, bookish sticker book from the Happy Planner. That was it. I wasn't, just because I knew it was going to be a crazy month, and I just wanted to have that decided. So crazy that you'll notice I did not even... <laughs> do these pages. Did not even. Not even a little. And then I always end, or I like to end, with Coffee Planner Mom's uh, Racing Life Kit for zooming on out of here. So that was it. That was the end of May. Now you may wonder, what am I going to do with June and July? The answer is probably not too much. Um, sometimes I write in here some teacher ideas, um, things that need to happen, but for the most part, this planner is officially retired. There's nothing else to do. It was a great, I love this design. I wish it came in like a classic because I the, the bookish design was great. Also, I wish that the layout was vertical. I think that would have been nice too, but it was fun using a teacher layout for another year. And soon I will be showing you what I've been working on for my teacher planner for next year. But until then, I'll catch y'all on the next one. See you later.